Do you play Havoc in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and get into these cameos. The first recommendation that I have when pairing up with Havoc is Serena and here's the reason why. She offers two projectiles, including a really fast single one and of course the double one. It allows for awesome combo extension and Havoc really needs that. He wants combo extension. He needs a faster projectile because far away, his are just not great. They're just too slow. Your opponent can really read them, but using Serena kind of fixes that. I mean, look how slow our back forward three is. It's just like, it's so slow, man. Sure, it's a pop-up and that's great, but we need a good projectile. And who doesn't want more combo extension? Plus, Havoc can really excel in the corner and using Serena's default cameo move drains our opponent's meter and allows us to do whatever we want to in the corner while, of course, draining our opponent's meter, keeping Havoc ahead of the game and one step ahead of his opponent. My other cameo recommendations are the freezing one, Sub-Zero and Frost, and the reason why is kind of like previously stated, Havoc struggles with the slow startup on his specials, especially your down back one, which is a great pop-up for continuing combos. And though it has armor, it's just so hard to throw it out there and hope that it hits but using frost really fixes that she can give you the pressure you need with her frost ball and then allow you to throw out your other projectiles just keeping a lot of pressure on the field and then sub-zero like frost offers that same exact thing of what you might want to do and just gives you that time to throw out your specials that are usually slow on startup or some zeros cameo can make your projectile invulnerable, thus allowing you not to be zoned out while you do your specials. And that's a super good tool that Havoc can really benefit from. My other favorite options for Havoc are Motaro because he gives you the mobility options that you might need as a Havoc player. Not that he's slow by any means, but you sometimes want to get in their face and Motaro allows you to do that. Or kind of like how Sub-Zero cameo offered us the projectile and vulnerability to allow us the time to set up our specials Mataro offers a projectile reflect here allowing us the same thing the time that we need to do our specials and though we have good projectiles as well Mataro offers an even better one and allows us to kind of put the pressure on the field make our opponent guess what are we going to do while there's pressure from the projectiles coming from Mataro allowing us to throw in the mix-ups and make our opponent not want to interrupt us because if they try to they might get hit by Mataro's projectiles and then I like to use Kung Lao for almost the same reasons as Mataro we get a teleport for mobility which can be huge when playing Havoc we get the combo extension and then we get that fast low projectile from Kung Lao that again, Havoc just really benefits from having some form of other projectile. And Mataros are a bit slower than Kung Lao's, but I just love having that mobility option and then the combo extension option as well. These are just my cameo recommendations for Havoc, guys. Let me know down below, who do you pair Havoc up with and why? Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.